iPadOS 26 is one of those updates that manages to annoy and impress me in the same breath. On the one hand, Apple has made multitasking feel like we've time traveled backwards, and on the other, we've got a couple of genuinely useful updates to reminders and proper tables in free notes. So let me walk you through what's changed, what still isn't right, and what you might actually enjoy in iPadOS 26.2. Multitasking feels like a step back in time. Remember when we had to drag apps from the dock just to get split view going? Yeah, iPadOS 26.2 brings that back. It still doesn't restore multitasking to what we had in iPadOS 18, but it looks like Apple has started taking baby steps in that direction. Hopefully. The pace feels painfully slow, especially when you consider how many digital workflows this change has disrupted. iPadOS 26.2 still forces you into windowed apps, so it's still not working with full screen apps. That is the first annoyance. You also have to use the dock, which means you can't pull apps directly from the home screen. Second annoyance. I ended up putting my app library on the dock, which I absolutely hate. So I'm perfectly pissed, naturally. My fourth annoyance was failing to split view with Apple Notes. That's a bug, right? It can't actually be a new limitation we have to deal with. It's not all bad news though, because Apple Reminders now gives us urgent reminders. This feature sets an alarm for your to-dos so you don't forget them, and it overrides focus and silent modes. So it's clearly for the things you really can't afford to miss. I don't understand why my alarm plays on my phone though, instead of my iPad. I can't find any way to choose which device plays the alarm sound. And when I kept my alarm off on the iPhone and turned it on on the iPad, I got no alerts. So this seems to only send alerts to the phone, which raises a lot of questions. What if you don't have an iPhone? What setting lets us choose the device our alarm sounds on? Is this a bug or an incomplete feature? What am I missing? Freeform now includes tables and they're easy to add and customize. You get several options for table borders too, including thickness and color, plus a background color option. I would love to see alternating row colors next because it makes cells easier to scan and helps them stand out from everything around them. I'm so glad Apple didn't dump the awful Apple Notes tables in Freeform. These tables feel much, much, much better. And that's iPadOS 26.2. I still dislike the multitasking, but I'm loving everything else. What do you think about iPadOS 26? Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.